various cultures and beliefs around the globe, discretion and silence are elevated to the status of essential virtues. Thomas Merton, a reference in the study of spirituality, once highlighted a profound truth. The ability to quiet our inner self and embrace serenity is one of the greatest gifts bestowed by divine wisdom. This reflection leads us to consider a crucial aspect of human life. There are times when it is necessary to withhold our thoughts and intentions, protecting them from unnecessary exposure. Consider, for example, the dramatic tension of a criminal investigation scene. After collecting decisive evidence, the suspect is detained and warned. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. This precaution echoes a universal truth. The information we choose to share can, at times, be turned against us. This notion finds parallels in ancient traditions like Buddhism and Taoism, which value prudence and introspection as essential steps before exposing our most intimate thoughts or plans, especially when there is a risk of being misunderstood. For those who follow the paths of spiritual wisdom, it is crucial to consider what we decide to share carefully. The reality is that we cannot always count on the purity of others' intentions. Ancient Eastern traditions encourage us to welcome our blessings with simplicity and humility. We should move forward driven by our intuition and inner wisdom, avoiding any ostentation or desire for recognition. Thus, when we are blessed with victories, or when dreams are sown into our being by the universal consciousness, we should exercise caution in sharing these visions. Taoist scriptures offer timeless advice. The sage accomplishes his actions without expecting applause or recognition. Our projects and dreams are as fragile as a newborn and therefore need protection and time to grow strong, away from dubious eyes. Instead of seeking external approval, our focus should be on internal reflection. We should invest our energies in deepening our understanding, trusting only those who prove to be faithful allies. That's why this video suggests that you never reveal these four things. The first one is as follows. Never underestimate the wisdom of keeping your own achievements secret. Sometimes we feel called to share our achievements, guided by a greater force. But even in those moments, it's important to share with caution. When luck smiles upon us, whether in work or personal life, it's not always wise to rush to social media. We live in an age of instant sharing, but not everything that shines needs to be immediately exposed. Buddhism and Taoism, as well as teachings from sacred texts of the Bible, talk to us about finding our place in the universe with balance and gratitude without needing to show off. Quietness and balance teach us to find dignity, not in display, but in harmony with the natural rhythm of life. For example, Taoism introduces us to Wu Wei, the art of acting without forcing, finding strength in gentleness and the natural flow of things. Similarly, Buddhism presents us with sunyata, which helps us see beyond the ego, understanding that we are all interconnected and that real value is not in individual achievements. The Bible also guides us to value humility and modesty, pointing out that showing off is a deviation from Christian teachings. Such behavior, marked by the display of wealth or power, distances us from the core of faith and our connection with God. Jesus in Matthew chapter 6 verses 1 to 4 teaches us the importance of practicing charity without fanfare and maintaining humility in our actions. In John chapter 2 verse 16, the Bible warns that ostentation, along with covetousness and arrogance, are worldly values, not divine ones. Thus, we are encouraged to avoid display and to cultivate simplicity, generosity, and humility, mirroring the true values of God. So, when life brings us advancements and blessings, the best response is humility and discretion. 
Talking about our victories may inadvertently attract less well-intentioned gazers. Being cautious in sharing our happy moments is, after all, a way to protect ourselves and preserve what we hold most valuable. The second thing you must not reveal to anyone is, never underestimate the power of caution in revealing your future visions and aspirations. Whether it's a call for a missionary journey or the entrepreneurial dream of starting a family business, the path of discretion is crucial. It's necessary to understand that there are many forces, both visible and invisible, that are willing to act just to thwart our plans. These forces can use information shared prematurely to obstruct or divert those plans. The Dhammapada, an essential text of Buddhism, shares wisdom that resonates with the teachings found in the Book of Proverbs, bringing the reflection that the hasty mind scatters, but the wise keeps it calm and serene. This ancient lesson emphasizes the importance of moderating our enthusiasm and sharing our deepest visions and intentions with prudence. Although joy and enthusiasm are natural responses to the gifts of life, the advice remains clear and vital. We must be cautious in revealing our deepest feelings and future plans. This guidance leads us to the Buddhist understanding that a balanced mind and a serene heart are fundamental. It teaches that often, true strength lies in quietness and the ability to guard our most precious energies and aspirations. Following the philosophy of Taoism, which sees strength in softness and the adaptation of the Tao, Buddhism encourages us to seek clarity and inner peace, developing a sense of discernment and moderation in what we decide to share. Divine wisdom in its comprehensive vision can guide us to share pieces of these revelations with trustworthy people, those who will join us in prayer and sincere support. But for our plans not to be thwarted, we need to know exactly who we can trust recognizing that often we find our safest refuge in silence. The third secret you need to apply in your life is the preservation of privacy in family matters. Maintaining privacy in family affairs is a crucial pillar for preserving both the structure and harmony of the family. Carelessly revealing details of these matters can weaken family bonds and create an environment of insecurity and mistrust. The family is considered sacred thus requiring careful handling of its vulnerabilities and faults. Buddhism echoes a similar message found in Proverbs, emphasizing mindful action and harmony within the home. According to this tradition, everyone has the capacity to make a positive impact on the family environment, nurturing peace, understanding and love. Similarly, Taoism preaches the pursuit of balance and reciprocity in relationships, maintaining that domestic harmony is a reflection of inner peace. In this context of unity, understanding and shared commitment, safeguarding privacy and respect within the family is essential. Protecting the intimacy of the family is not only an act of self-preservation, but a demonstration of mutual love and respect, crucial for the development of all its members. The wisdom of building and maintaining a home, therefore, transcends cultures and religions, positioning itself as a universal pillar for the creation of an environment of peace, love and mutual respect. Finally, the fourth lesson concerns the importance of keeping your moments of spiritual connection secret. Dreams and visions, direct messages from the cosmos or universal consciousness are primarily intended for the receiver of these revelations, carrying meanings that only they can fully unravel. For Buddhism and Taoism, the individual experience of enlightenment and spiritual awakening is a deeply personal and intimate journey. No one needs to know about your relationship with the Divine. These spiritual traditions advise that sharing these profound experiences should be done with great care and only under the inner guidance that such an act could serve to inspire or help others on their own spiritual journeys. Trivializing these experiences can compromise their transformative impact. 
Some revelations, if exposed prematurely, may not survive skepticism or the judgment of others. Honoring the sacred character of these experiences also means valuing the privacy of these divine connections. Treat these experiences as an intimate treasure. Protect your moments and preserve their beauty and strength. Serenity is more than a state of calm. It is the essence that resides at the core of each of us, an internal sanctuary of consciousness that shapes words into thoughts and forms our perception of the world. Without this central spark of consciousness, we would lose our sense of being and feel lost in the confusion of daily life. Our deepest identity, that I am, which goes beyond any label or form, is intrinsically linked to this state of peace. Both the noise of our thoughts and that of the environment can disturb this inner peace. However, it's the silence around us that reflects and amplifies the tranquility that resides within us. Valuing external silence is an invitation to discover and embrace the calm that already exists inside us, realizing that only in a state of quietude can we truly find ourselves. This awakening leads us to an existence marked by alert and serene presence, freeing us from old conditioned patterns. The simple observation of a tree or flower can be a profound lesson in peace. Similarly, paying attention to the spaces between thoughts, words, musical notes, or even the cycles of breath reconnects us to essential consciousness, helping us transcend our identification with transient forms. It is in this silence that true intelligence flourishes. The absence of sound does not define calm. It is the cradle of creativity, problem solving, and consciousness, which are the foundation of all life. This consciousness unifies everything, from the complex arrangement of galaxies to the simplest forms of nature, and is the cornerstone of existence. Interestingly, calm is the only thing in the universe that transcends materiality without form or definition. When we contemplate something in this state of peace, it is consciousness admiring its own manifestation. Just by observing and listening in silence, the inherent intelligence manifests, guiding our words and actions. Allowing internal serenity to guide our path is the key to a rich and wise life. Keeping our achievements, plans and aspirations secret is crucial to protecting our mind and body and following our path without external interferences. If you enjoyed this journey into the heart of ancient wisdom and modern spirituality, there's much more for us to explore together in the next video. If this video made sense to you, write in the comments. It makes sense to me. Remember to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to receive all the latest teachings.